Let's upgrade the look of your kits with Simpro's Metal Upgrade Zaku Beads. Not So Average Builder is brought to you by these great retailers. There'll be promo codes in the description below. To do this, you're going to need some super glue, some a paper clip, some wire cutters, or if you've got them, some rail cutters. And I'm going to use my old trusty ones that I've had for a while. You'll also need some really good nippers to get close. I'm using the USA Gundam Store nippers that they sent me to try out. Some tweezers, a pin vise with the drill bit that's the same size as your uh, paper clip, because if it is too large, then your paper clip won't fit. I mean, for obvious reasons. I want to take a moment to shout out some awesome individuals, Sean Watson, Yulianov Lombardia, Chris D, and Megan Berry for supporting the channel on Patreon. Now to get into this, I want to go over size comparison. These uh, head beads for the, the Master Grade Zaku Gunner are going to be about the same size as the small. Now Simpro makes small, medium, and large beads, and they make them in two different colors, or three different colors. You've got a black metal, stainless, and then you've got a gold. So these are the black metal. And I'm gonna show you the uh, size comparison on this versus the high grade Zaku here in a minute. But I wanna go back over with the, get it in focus, but that these are the same size as the small. Now the leg thrusters are the same size as, or the leg beads are the same size as the large. Maybe a little bit smaller, but it's something that can be, it, it'll be overlooked once you get it on the kit. Now on this high grade, because all three beads or sets of beads are the same size, you can get away with just using the small. On a master grade, you probably use the medium. And then on a perfect grade Zaku, you probably use the large. So just keep that in mind when you're placing your order. And you can get all this stuff through usagundamstore.com and use my promo code, not so average, gets you 10% off. So not only do you get them at a cheaper price, you're getting them at an even better price because of my promo code. Now, on the Master Grade Zaku, there was the three different sizes. There's your small, medium, and then there's even, or small, large, and there's even one bigger than the large. And that one's a lot of structural stuff for the side skirts, so I just left that as is. So just keep that in mind if you're going to replicate this on your own. To get this started, you will need to modify the head a little bit, but only slightly. So I've already cut the spring to the, pr the correct length. And that's a simple thing of uh, once you run your paper clip through, you see how much you need and then you just snip off the excess. So you're gonna wanna snip the existing beads off. I know it's a scary thing, you're modifying your kit, but in order to make them look that much better, you gotta add a little blood, sweat and tears into this. So once you get that cut off, you're gonna drill in your hole. Now with this, it doesn't have to exactly be center. When you're drilling anything, you always want to make sure it's centered, but on this, it's not that big a deal because most of your uh, spring that houses the Zaku beads is going to cover up the hole. So just make sure you drill. Don't drill your finger. Uh, that's how the little mark on my uh, middle finger got there. I was drilling and uh, I decided to drill into my finger. Now that the hard part's over, you're going to take your paper clip, your structural integrity, and you're going to try and pre-shape it to the existing Zaku bead vent thing, whatever you call this, as much as possible. It doesn't have to be exact. We can fiddle with it later on. But the big thing you really want to get is your ends so that it'll fit in there perfect. You can adjust the curve later on. Now, once you get that in there, you've put one end in. Now you're going to snip off your excess. Now. I do mess this up. I cut my wire too short, or not my wire, my paper clip too short. Isn't a big deal. Paper clips are super inexpensive, so if you need to waste those, that would be the best thing to waste. So, I mainly strength here, and snip that off, and you're going to get your rough shape at this point. You don't want to go too close because obviously the Zaku beads and the spring that they sit on kind of adds a little width to it. So you want to make sure it's not too close to the thing and not too far away either. Now this is attempt number two. Um, we're going to slide the Zaku beads on there and nothing is more fiddly than a wire with a spring wrapped around it and some loose Zaku beads on top. So keep that in mind. You're going to drop these things about a million and a half times. So stay in the center of your mat as much as possible. 
otherwise you're going to lose these to the carpet monster. So once you get that on there, you want to check fitment, you want to check width, and this is where you're going to try and get your final, see, I already dropped one, but you're going to get your final fitment size or shape of your ring at this point. So once you get this locked in here, what you'll see me do is actually push in the center to kind of get that bow more flat. Because if you look at the, the OEM one, it's kind of got a, a weird shape to it. It's not just a round shape, but it's not exactly a flat shape. So you can see this is too far away. So I'll eventually I'll fiddle with it. I do it off camera, but I fiddle with it to try and get it in there. One thing I did not take into consideration with this is the helmet where it has those side pieces. And I'm going to make you watch me fiddle with this whole thing, trying to get it to, to get the right size and shape. But back to that helmet, uh, I do have to probably reshape a little bit more because it is pushing on the helmet, causing it to separate from the visor. And I'm not really crazy about that, so I will have to fix that. Another thing too on this that I realized, the original one had five beads on it, but the only two that are shown when the helmet's on is the front two so you could probably save yourself a lot of hassle and just use two because the helmet's going to keep them from sliding back anyway i've used super glue on the, the leg ones and it's very difficult to get these things to super glue but once you fiddle with it you get both sides in this is what you're left with now as i said it is really simple to do this it is not difficult at all just make sure you're using a paper clip and you don't have to use the paper clip you can super glue the spring directly to that it's not going to hold up as well and it won't hold a shape so just keep that in mind paper clips you can get at the dollar store i think like a 500 pack or 50 pack or something for a couple of bucks so just make sure you're you're giving yourself some support and something that will keep these things from flying everywhere because they are small they are tiny if they fling across the room you might as well kiss them goodbye they're done now there are instances where you don't need to use the internal structure like the legs because they move and bend. Uh, you couldn't really use them, so I didn't use them on there. But just go slow about the process. Make sure you're taking your time and enjoy the process. Remember guys, don't just be an average builder. Be a not so average one. Bye.